Greetings, folks, and welcome to Vinyl Therapy Sessions, the Thundercat Classics Edition. I am your host, Coco Smooth, and today we'll be exploring a set that I picked up a long time ago. This was probably like one of the first set of Funko Pops that I picked up just because I was like, wow, um, I don't really like Pops, but I do like the Thundercats. And well, since I already had the He-Man ones, I figured this would be congruent with uh, with, with He-Man. Like, what a, what a great situation for He-Man and Lino to hang out. And uh, sure enough, <laughs> I got them, right? And so here we go. We got. We'll start off first with a uh, 102 Classics Lino, and uh, yeah, the um, I'm using the pro the Protector uh, Pop Shield armor. See over there. It's uh, where I put my Grails, you know, Lino. And since these are kind of on the more expensive side, I figured, all right, well, might as well start putting these things in the pop armor shield or pop shield armor. You got Chitara, right? It's her box art right here. Number 103. Look, this was back in the day. Original Funko. This is her Facebook. <laughs> Linwood Washington. Uh, interesting, 903. <laughs> I wonder if those numbers are still good. <laughs> Chitara. And, uh, let's see. Got here. Panthro. He was such a cool character because he, uh, well, he had nunchucks. <laughs> When I was a kid, nunchucks were a thing. Um, but as you can see, his nunchucks are actually inaccurate. They don't got the claws at the end. Hmm. A gross miscalculation, but he's buff as hell. <laughs> With no mouth. <laughs> now, I wanted to show you guys something. <laughs> Pop Shield is dope because of, you know, you get to open it up with magnets see you hear that sink and yeah doesn't magnets keep it from really strong sturdy stuff it's very sturdy yeah like if I could display all of my stuff in this armor I would but it's just way too expensive <laughs> so yeah you would you, you'd have to choose to put your most precious ones in here recommended in the rest you know just regular sleeves will do right unless you're just a baller and can afford you know premium armors you know what I'm saying um, next we'll go with it kind of skips they skip ahead right they had Mumra I was like what the hell no Tigra huh at the time, yeah, look at Mumra right here. Transform this decayed form to Mumra, the ever living. <laughs> Such a cool guy. Yeah, box art. Yep. Mumra. I wish they had made the mutants, but I guess they got shy or lost the rights or whatever or something. Said we got Schnarf, Schnarf, Schnarf. The only one with a mouth of all things. <laughs> Strangely enough. Schnarf, Schnarf. <laughs> yes, Schnarf. And that's it for the original five, right? Let's uh, stack the one. Two, and of course there is one more 
Tigra. They decided to make him the specialty series. He came out maybe two years or three after um, Lino and all of them came out. I was like, damn, what's taking these fools so long? You know? It's like, dude, I gotta hurry the hell up. <laughs> Tiger's like, dude, what about me? Always forgotten. Hopefully they make Bengali and uh, Pumaira and Linkso, but I don't know, man. It's it's not looking very like they will or not, you know. But yeah, these were my first set of pops other than the He-Man Classics, which I at some point will do a video on too. I'm just going to wait to make sure that I got more Pop Shield armor for them so that I can display them in the next video. I got a lot of time in the world. The only problem is it's the money. Let's look up the issue now. The issue now is getting the scratch to protect it. Okay. Well, that is all I got for this segment of Vinyl Therapy Sessions, the Thundercat Classics Edition. I am your host, Coco Smooth. And until next video, ciao.